uh, as part of the Prescription Drug Addiction Study Committee uh, formed in the Ohio House of Representatives, we're introducing 11 different bills to address the opiate epidemic in Ohio. Uh, we're taking a three-pronged approach. The first prong is we've got to prevent more people from becoming addicted. The second prong is we need to prevent people who are struggling with addiction from diverting more painkillers out of the system. We also need to people, keep people who are struggling with addiction alive so that they can reach the third prong, which is treatment. Uh, we know that treatment works, treatment is successful, and people recover. Uh, in the first area, trying to limit the number of people who are becoming addicted to prescription painkillers, we have a number of bills that have been introduced. Uh, one bill dictates and kind of raises the standards of medical care on the medical system for people who are struggling with chronic pain and implements new standards with regards to uh, prescribing for chronic pain patients. A second bill looks at K-12 through education and tries to educate young people about the dangers of prescription opioids and their link to heroin. Another bill that we have uh, would limit the amount of prescriptions that are made uh, to children and prevent them uh, uh, from obtaining a prescription without their parents' knowledge and consent. Um, another bill would allow us to uh, change the prescription habits uh, for people getting acute pain pills uh, so that they would get, uh, they would have those prescribed in seven day or, uh, sorry, filled in seven day increments, say for a 30 day prescription. That way they don't have all the unused medication left over in their, pain, in their medicine cabinets. Uh, so that's kind of the first area. The second area is trying to uh, to close down the chain of custody and prevent more medication from becoming diverted out of the medical system. Uh, we have a number of bills to address this. One is the, to uh, require that doctors check the OR system to know if somebody is doctor shopping, if they're getting a narcotics prescription from somebody else. Uh, another bill is to show your photo ID when you get to the pharmacy so that the pharmacist knows that you're not shopping around for different narcotics prescriptions. Uh, just like you have to do right now for your allergy medication. Uh, the second piece of that is people who are struggling with addiction, not only should we not let them divert more medication out of our medical system, we also want to keep them alive so they can reach the treatment phase. Uh, and so we've introduced, I've introduced a 911 Good Samaritan bill uh, that will allow people to uh, call 911 to help somebody and prevent them from dying of a drug overdose. And then the third piece is the treatment piece. And uh, we've got to do a better job in terms of integrating the treatment uh, in the state of Ohio and making sure that it's available to each and every citizen in every county. Uh, in the final pieces, we've got to make sure that there's recovery housing available for people uh, so that they can do the work that they need to do to recover uh, and on their treatment. So those are the uh, 11 different bills and they each have a different focus.